hey guys what's up hope you all are doing good happy healthy wealthy wise right and yes to add one more thing you must be studying regularly if you are not you should start studying regularly because this is the need of the hour right okay so without any further chit chatting let's directly move on to the lecture today the topic that i have thought of discussing with you people today is the extraction of metals which are low in the activity series so i remember last time i told you the activity series kna cm gl zn fe pbh cu gg au out of which if i talk about gold if i talk about silver if i talk about mercury so these are the kinds of elements which are actually found in the free state in nature why they are found in free state because they are quite inert since they are inert they do not react with anything and hence they are found in the free state so their extraction is little bit easier but if i talk about the metal like mercury if i talk about the metal like copper then these are found in the form of oxides or these are also found in the form of sulfides okay so i told you the formula earlier oxide is o2 minus and sulfide is s2 minus now you have to remember one thing i have a metal sulfide but i don't want metal sulfide i want the conversion of metal sulfide to metal directly right but the problem in this case is the conversion of metal sulfide to metals directly is really tough it requires lots of energy it it requires lots of money so the conversion of metal sulfide to metal practically is like very tough so what we do we first convert the metal sulfide into metal oxide and finally we work with metal oxide and this then the metal oxide could be converted to metal okay so rather than going directly we'll first convert the metal sulfide to metal oxide processes i'll tell you in details and then the metal oxide could be converted to metal okay so if i talk about mercury if i talk about copper so see mercury is existing in nature in the form of hgs so once again knock 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 this is one of the most important word for your cbse exams in paper they ask you how the cinnabar can be converted into the metal directly so many students get confused because they do not know what cinnabar is so now you should remember cinnabar is an ore of mercury known as hgs since it is sulfide ore i told you direct conversion is not possible so first you have to heat it with oxygen provide a little bit of temperature it gets converted to hgo and the sulfur reacts with oxygen and goes out as sulfur dioxide okay now since it is a metal which is like less reactive so if you simply heat the metal oxide the uh, this hgo it simply gets converted to mercury and oxygen will be released okay so in short you can remember cinnabar the ore of mercury is to be first heated with oxygen it's get converted to hgo and this involves heating now if you simply heat hgo you directly get liquid mercury and hence the extraction of mercury from cinnabar can be possible okay one another example in this case that is important is the conversion of copper sulfide so see if i am talking about cuprous sulfide cu is plus 1 s is 2 minus so in nature it exists as cu to s so this is cuprous sulfide again it is a sulfide ore the direct conversion is not easy so first i'll heat it with oxygen it forms cu2o and sulfur dioxide will be released the same process right a little difference you will see here so what we should do is just heat cu2o it should get copper and so2 right it should get copper and oxygen but a different thing is observed here so see what that difference is for example let's say you started with cu2s you had 100 molecules of copper sulfide you combined it with oxygen and it got converted to form cu2o and sulfur dioxide was released okay so let's say out of 100 molecules first only 50 molecules will form cu2o and the remaining 50 molecules of cu2s will be left behind these are left as such okay and these are 50 molecules which are formed fine so now in the mixture do you think you have both the cu2s and cu2o remaining 
so now what happens this cu2s will itself react with the cu2o so formed so see here the reaction cu2o will itself react with cu2s and it forms cu and so2 so this will form copper and sulfur dioxide so since this copper oxide is getting reduced to copper so this kind of process is known as self reduction process self reduction means because the copper which was there in the form of cu2s is helping itself it is helping the cu2o so formed in order to undergo reduction okay so the process is almost the same if i write it here you have cu2s you combine it with oxygen you heat it it forms cu2 now instead of direct heating cu2 to form copper we don't do this thing what we do we simply heat the overall mixture so the overall mixture had both cu2 as well as cu2s when they when you heat them with each other it forms copper and sulfur dioxide will be released okay known as self reduction this name of the process self reduction is not there in cbse but yes it is there in kvpy but for cbse these reactions all of them are really important okay so we don't need to go into the details of this particular process and i think that much is enough for both cbse and kvpy okay so guys today we discussed how the extraction of metals which are lying low in the activity series is possible the next slide i have is the extraction of metals in the middle of activity series but that i'll discuss in the next lecture fine so study well come up with the doubts and uh, make sure everything goes to your mind very nicely so that you can remember the stuff and then we'll meet once again in the next lecture and we'll continue till that time stay tuned thank you bye bye